Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at the magnitude and direction of a vector. So the way that we would work out the magnitude of a vector is by using a bit of Pythagoras' theorem. Now first of all the notation for magnitude of a vector is with two vertical lines either side of that vector. And the question here, find the magnitude of the vector um, will be the Pythagorean distance on the diagonal of this triangle here. So 3i minus 7j will have a magnitude of 3 squared plus 7 squared, which will give us the square root of 58, or in other words, 7.62. So that's the magnitude of the vector. It's just a little bit of Pythagoras' distance. Create the triangle and find your um, and find your hypotenuse. OK, so moving on to the next question, find the angle created between this vector and the positive x-axis. Now we're still going to be working with right-angled triangles here. A right-angled triangle now looks like this, and we want to find the angle with the positive x-axis. So that is this angle round from here to here. So eventually we're going to want to work out alpha. But let's work out theta first, and it's just another right-angled triangle problem where we've got tan theta coming in to help us out. So what we have here is we have tan theta of opposite over adjacent, 5 over 4. Notice here how I'm just using the value of 4 rather than minus 4 because I'm just working out the angle here on this triangle with positive distances on its lengths. So it's tan minus 1 of 5 over 4, which is 51.3. However, that's not the answer. We want to find the angle between the positive x-axis and, uh, and this uh, 51.3 um, triangle. So we then do 180 minus 51.3, and we get a final answer of 128.7. Okay, another question here. A vector has a vector A has a magnitude 10 and makes an angle of 30 degrees with J. Find uh, A in column vector notation. So draw a diagram first, as I would with any of these sorts of questions here. So the vector A has a magnitude of 10, so that's a total distance of 10, and um, an angle 30 with the J component. Okay, so using a bit of right angle triangle trigonometry here, we've got the hypotenuse, and we've got the angle. So now we just need to work out the adjacent and the and the adjacent and the opposite. So in this case here we get five and five root three. So here is the um, column vector format of the vector five over five root three. Right, it's your turn to have a go at a couple of questions here now. Pause the video and see how far you get. Right, okay, then let's have a go at these uh, two questions then. So what we need to do is find the angle between the vector 3i minus 5j uh, makes with the j vector. So it's not clear whether it's positive or negative, so I'll just take it as the uh, angle that's less than 90 degrees. So this is the angle that we want to find out. We're told that this point here is uh, 3 across and 5 down. So in terms of tan here, this is going to be um, opposite over adjacent, so that's 3 over 5. So our final answer here to question 1 is going to be tan minus 1 of 3 over 5, which gives us 31 degrees. Okay. Next question, so given that 2i minus kj equals 2 root 10, uh, find the exact value of k. So what we're saying here then is that along the line 2 minus k lots of something, so it might be here, it might be up here, then somewhere along this line here is going to have a distance of 2 root 10 along the hypotenuse. That's what it means when we've got vertical brackets either side of our expression here. It's the modulus of this of this number here uh, will give us 2 root 10. So what we don't know, therefore, is how far down or how far up 
this k value is here. So the first thing we have to do then is to, um, if this is a 2, then what we're going to do next is a little bit of Pythagoras' theorem on this triangle here. So 2 root 10 is on the hypotenuse, so it's 2 root 10 squared, take away 2 squared, and that will give us our height, so that would be k squared. So this here is going to be a 40 take away 2 squared, it's 4, which is equal to 36, which is equal to k squared. So k here is going to equal plus or minus 6. Okay, so that's the final answer for question in 11c. Make sure you have a go at lots of the questions from exam, from exercise 11c. Uh, persevere through the difficult ones and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Right, thanks very much for watching.